Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today I want to answer a question that last night on one of my lives, one of the subscribers and my followers brought up. And it was, he said, he had one of the old U.S. Army sleeping bags, one of the down bags or one of the other M60 type bags that has this canvas cover on it. And he wanted to know, how do you attach the cover? <coughs> now these old... 49 mountain bags and the old M60 uh, poly bags are everywhere in surplus and you can always tell them because they've got the uh, ties on the bottom like this and this is a 60s through the 80s and even into the 90s sleeping bag. Mummy style bag and you have the actual sleeping bag and then you have this outer cover and it laces on. So let me show you that up close about how we're going to lace this cover on. Okay, up here at the head you see there is two little ties right here. This is where a label originally was but there's a set of grommeted eyes and all the way down the side you're going to have that. So starting right here on the zipper there's a grommeted eye and then there's one in the cover. Then there's one there in the cover, see? And then there's another one. Usually these were tied up here at the top to keep you from getting tangled up in strings or whatever when you're trying to get out of it. So from say, I'd say about halfway down, about a foot or so, a foot and a half down that zipper, it's tied, just simply tied on both sides. And then start the lacing cord like you see right here. Now the lacing cord, what it is, it's going to begin at the bottom, but what you're going to do is you're going to line up the grommet of the, I'll make sure you can see this. Okay, that's a little bit better. You're going to take the grommet hole that's on the outer cover and the grommet hole that's on the zipper run of the sleeping bag right there. You're going to line them up and you're going to go through and tie. And then you're going to roll it through the inside to you get to the next two holes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull them together. You're going to take the cord. You're going to come out this grommet hole. Go up over the top and come back in through that grommet hole. And then you're going to hook it around the cord. And go to the next one. And that's simply an overhand loop. So it's out, over, in. We can put it back between them hook over this cord, and then run down to your next one. <clears throat> now, when you get there, same thing. You should go in, out, over, down, and just go all the way down to the bottom. Now, as you can see, here's where the cord starts. So it's Put them together, tie it, go to the next one, line them up, go through, you can go through both of them, come back over the top, hook underneath this cord, and that will kind of hook it and keep it from falling apart, and then run it up to the next one. Pull it tight, go to the next one, go to the next one. This allows you to take this cover off easily and quickly because this cover was just canvas and it was waterproof treated. So you want to replace this when it got dirty and nasty. This kept your sleeping bag cleaner. And that was the whole idea of being a carrot in the field and not get this, these tubes, which are a thinner taffeta material, and carry the down, you know, which is feathers. You didn't want to get them wet because once wet, they're nearly useless and really muddy or nasty. And there used to actually be a liner you could get that went in here that was just a, a sheet like a, a canvas sheet, a little like a linen sheet. And they would lace in the same place idea, but you just stick it in and you had a zipper to come up and it came up ha about halfway and then that um, uh, liner went all the way to the top, but the, the closure would only be closed with the snaps. See, and that way it was you could get into it, zip it up and have it, and to get out of it in a hurry, you just grabbed and ripped apart and it opened up. These sleeping bags are still everywhere on the surplus market. And uh, if you don't know where to find one and you're looking for one of these old army sleeping bags, uh, Coffin's Military Surplus and Samson, and I'll put the phone number right down here. 
just call the ladies up and tell them Blackie sent you and you're looking for an Army sleeping bag. They had MS Sleep Systems and they had these old bags as well. This is where I got this one and this is a model 1949 mountain bag. They're still in service in a lot of places. In fact, when I got this one a year or so ago and I unrolled it, there was a, a tag in it that showed where it would, had been turned in uh, in Afghanistan, where some soldier was using it in a barracks or whatever there to keep warm. The uh, MS sleep system is what's the official issue today, but these are still in inventory a lot for guys in bases, stuff like that, because the old down sleeping bag is just so warm. It's heavy to tote, it's like eight pounds, but it's extremely warm in extreme conditions. These covers are still available and you can find them as well. And as I pointed out in an earlier video, that cover by itself serves as a summer weight ultralight sleeping bag because the snaps are on it. So I can get into it and snap it closed and use it as a sleeping bag in the summer. So that's really a two for one right there. These outer covers you, could, you can get and waterproof them with like the spray silicone, etc., where it'll bead water, which would be a good idea if you're going to be ground camping with this. I use them predominantly in a hammock to turn them upside down and flip back over me, uh, like a quilt, and it works very well for that. To roll one up while we're doing this, let's just do this right quick. I normally just snap like one at the top, one about halfway down. All right, I'm gonna put it up there. I'm going to take the shoulders and I'm going to fold it in half. Just like that. Now coming up here to the head. Hope you can still see me. I'm going to press the air out and I'm going to take a handful and I'm going to start rolling. Get it there right about there. Push down hard, keep rolling. Push down hard, keep rolling. The whole time keeping this from separating. hard for you to see what I'm doing, but I'm just rolling it, that's all I'm doing. Now get down here at the bottom, squeeze the excess air out, there's a pair of ties, take one and go to one side, and take the one that pulls the bag tighter and hold it in your hand, go under twice, and then pull, like that, then pull back together, and make a half inch, just a loop where you put a loop of bind around it. Same thing on the other side. Go around twice and pull the cords in opposite directions. And then pull them back together and put the loops. That's how I was told top to roll an old army sleeping bag. Those covers, I've seen them for like $20 or less. I've seen them for $10 before. It just depends on how valuable they are at the surplus place, whether they think they got or not. Excuse me. But with a little bit of waterproofing on them, it can be a real asset to these sleeping bags. I've used one for many, 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 many years. Uh, in fact, my first really good sleeping bags were like the old army surplus bags and when I finally got a hold of 49 mountain bag man that made that was the sky was the limit then that sucker was heavy but man it was fantastic it keeping you warm because it was good down to below zero and in my lower environment we never got that cold so I little old blackie stayed warm in it yeah it was a bear to tote but it worked well but to answer the question it's simply putting the sleeping bag inside lining it up with those grommets line up the top half from like here up just tie it tie it in a knot and make sure the knot's kind of the inside so it don't stick out and fray out okay you can use bank line to do this or any kind of cordage that's fairly strong and then on the bottom you're going to go through tie a knot go to the next one go through both of them loop back over hook under and go up that's all there is to it, and lace it like you'd lace a pair of boots, basically, on it, and that's how they put them on there and kept them.
Real simple. Hope you've enjoyed this content, guys. If you have, hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go for me, please. Until next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.